What's up guys, this is Helder from Digimon World Gamer and today I'm gonna make a review about the Power Rangers Dino Fury Episode 1 the very first episode we, we got but it had lots of details so let's check them out so the episode starts with the Pink Ranger we gotta look at her motorcycle and it has lots of stickers about aliens uh, the Loch Ness Monster Ghosts and uh, Sasquatch, Bigfoot, stuff like that, because she's really fascinated about the paranormal stuff, uh, as you're gonna see through the episode. And we have a, a look at her; she's very nice, pretty, stuff like that. And she meet up with her boss, which is uh, she works on uh, on some sort of kind of YouTube channel, sort of uh, uh, journals, stuff like that. And she works. She is talking to her boy, her boss, saying that she wants to make a uh, paper about ghost hunting. And her bar, her boss, tell her that she, she's not about to do that kind of stuff on, on Buzzfeed, which is the Buzz, Buzzfeed, no Buzz Blaster, <laughs> which is the, the the place they work, because. Uh, their working place is more about trending stuff, uh, skateboarders, stuff like that, and not ab about ghosts and Sasquatch and paranormal stuff. But she, she kind of insists that she really wants to to do this paranormal stuff, and she even says that she she, she already done her makeup reveal. And I, I like this part when she talks about her her makeup reveal that she she asked for likes and subscribe so if you're enjoying this video right now do as the pink ranger said like and subscribe here <laughs> this and as always click like and subscribe this channel uh, I like I like that part I, I think I'll use that clip but moving on she finally gets permission for her boss to to make a, a video a, a report about ghost hunting and she goes to the to the forest, to the Dino Range forest, to ghost hunting, and she's all there with her uh, blaster, ghost hunting stuff. I don't know what exactly that is, but she has a GoPro on the the the, the ghost hunting machine. That's very cool. Man. She's talking with us. She's talking on the video. Oh, I'm gonna finally get a uh, proof that roads. The ghosts are real, stuff like that, da, 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 and she's very nice. And she sees some some ghostly figure on the mist because it's for some reason it's very mist out there suddenly. And she she spots some ghostly f figure and she shoots, but it's actually the Blue Ranger. <laughs> she she shoots a electrifying net on the the Blue Ranger, which it kind of makes me wonder, why would you catch ghosts with electric nets? If they're ghosts, they can't phase away through objects. Why? Is, I don't know. Maybe electricity works on ghost types, uh, but Pokemon didn't taught me that. <laughs> Who knows? But but again, that, then she realized he's not a ghost. Is the is the Blue Ranger? He's just a guy. No? She she says she saw her stuff like that. Ask for him where he's going, and he say, "Oh, I'm going to Dino Range." And then he say, "Oh, I'm going, I'm going to Dino Range too. So let's go. Now we're going to the same place. So let's go there. And start talking stuff like that, and go on." So they finally get to Stonehenge, uh, to Dino Range, which is based on the real Stonehenge, uh, but it's dinosaur-like. So they go to the uh, the Dino Range. And they meet the the Blue Ranger's mother, which is an archaeologist, and she's there with lots of equipment, measuring uh, the area, doing scientific stuff with the, her equipment. She scans the area with a drone, and the the statues kind of react, and they have some weird reaction. You can see the dino, the red dinosaur eyes are glowing and. Some sort of energy goes uh, out of them. That's that's very nice. Yeah. And she finds out that beneath the, the the statues, there's a hidden chamber, like uh, now, which we will know further that is the Power Rangers secret chamber. But she find out find out about it, but she can't do anything about it. And then the the park guard the the, the park guard camps. 
goes in and asks him, hey, we're not supposed to be here, blah, blah, blah stuff like that. And she goes away. Yeah, she has to report to the to the park H HQ. And uh, and she asks for the the kids to pack up the kids. Not they're they're adults, but uh, to to the youngest to pack up their stuff and the equipments. And both the blue and the pink ranger they're arguing about if the ghosts are really really real or not because the the blue ranger is a very scientific guy. We know blue rangers. Eh? He doesn't believe on paranormal stuff like that, and the pink range is quite the opposite. She she calls him close-minded. He say no, I'm not close-minded. We want to be rational. We want to have facts stuff like that. They keep that discussion about if girls are real or not. And then the Void Knight appears. Yeah? And it's very funny because on that scene, Void Knight appears yeah, out of nowhere. He just appears out of, from the the sky or whatever and both the blue range and the pink range they hide on behind the, the equipments like they, they already know he he he's a bad guy or maybe they're just afraid of, <laughs> who knows and that's very funny because it didn't even do anything and they're already afraid of him like assuming he's a bad guy sure he looks like a bad guy but nah you know cartoon logic nah. Then he finds out the energy and blows a hole on the, the floor and goes inside the chamber and soon they both follow him in, inside the chamber they find those crazy stat statues that are laying around and they're, of course they hid themselves as the Void Knight is looking for some sort of energy and he finds out the, the little dinosaur which is there uh, trying to revive the the Red Ranger, which is also there, on some sort of um, hibernation uh, state, sort of like that. Uh, he, she, she tries to revive him uh, because uh, he, there's an intruder, uh, and she wants the Red Ranger to to stop the intruder, but the machine doesn't work. And to make things worse, the Void Knight breaks the machine, and. Then the Blue Ranger realizes that uh, he's bullying the little dinosaur, that he's evil, of course, and gets a sword and starts fighting him. Uh, that's very nice. That's a very nice um, scene. And then they they start fighting uh, the, the 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 evil the evil void knight. And the little dinosaur throws a key to the Rangers, saying that the 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 statues will fight for them, but Void Knight gets the the key and commands the the warriors. Uh, they're calling henchmen. Makes sense because there's there's on Dino Hange and there's our henchmen. Uh, the the henchmen fights for Void Knight instead for the Rangers. It would be interesting seeing the the Rangers commanding the a little army instead of fighting against a little army. Would would be interesting to see that. It would be different, something different. That, and but no, nah, we have to follow the the rule that the the villain has the 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 little army, the minions, stuff like that. Typical Power Ranger stuff. Okay, moving on. Uh, they find themselves surrounded. They don't know what to do. Nah, they kind of talk with each other, nah, nah, saying that the the Pink Ranger said, "Oh, I made some tre trees or kara karate." And the Blue Ranger says, "Oh, it makes his ring uh, six years of fencing." Yeah. So, which is makes sense because he saw a sword, he got a sword, and, and got to fight the the evil Void Knight because he had fencing experience. Makes totally sense, man. They 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 really they really are writing the decision very smart, and we're gonna see through the episode more on this this season is gonna be awesome. They they're really writing a very smart. In a very smart way, in a cohesive, and that's what I want to see on Power Rangers and on Sonic the Hedgehog and all the franchise I like. I don't want to see more uh, goofy, cartoony plots. I want to see consistent and cohesive plots on stuff I, I enjoy. And god damn, they're doing that with the Power Rangers. That's very nice. Moving on, yeah, they're fighting the, the bad guys. The Pink Ranger also gets a, a saber, yeah, a sword, saber, whatever. Yeah. But their sword is starting to glow after they fight for a while, and ta-da! They get 
Morphers, né? They, they soon get Morphers and short after that, the, the little dinosaur recognize they got Morphers and throw them the keys, né? Which are used to unlock the powers and so they, they become Power Rangers. So it's very interesting to point out that they got the swords, they started fighting. Uh, we can see that for some reason they got chosen to be Power Rangers because um, I don't know né? why, but possibly there is an explanation because we're gonna see further ahead. But as you can see, there's some lights above them transforming them on Power Rangers. They don't, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't even say that. Oh, it's morphing time. Oh, it's dinosaur like my name and <laughs> it's dinosaur stuff and morphing. No, they were chosen, and the morpher grid appeared above their heads. Kind of looks like that, and they became Power Rangers because they were chosen by the the morphing grid. That that's what it kind of looks like, but it's mostly like that, man. Yeah. And uh, they're, they're transforming into Power Ranger, they start fighting. Uh, Void Knight finds the, the energy he was looking for. It turns out that the energy are the Sporics. He finds the Sporics, they ask for, ask for the means to carry them away. Yeah. Finally, the Red Ranger wakes up. She, the little dinosaur finally manages to, to make the machine work. The Red Ranger is free. Yeah. He tried to to fight the, the Void Knight, but for some reason he, he throws a, a dagger on Void Knight and the dagger goes back and, and hits the the box which are, the sparks are locking and the, the sparks are loose, which is a very bad thing and they just go away around the world né? this was not supposed to happen né? both the rangers and the Void Knight are desperate because the sparks are loose né? And, but one of the sparks, instead of going away through the world, it, it goes on, on Void Knight's feet and hatches, yeah. becoming his first uh, monster, minion, general, whatever. Yeah. It's, it's the first sparks that hatch and say, oh, you're gonna help me find the other sparks. And uh, the monster says, yes, boss, and they go away. Later, the Rangers regroup. Yeah, they start talking to know each other. Uh, Zato says he's an alien, yeah, and he asks for he asks for the to the dinosaur how many years he's been on the uh, hibernation, and the dinosaur says ah a bit too long, uh, 65 million years. Zane, Zato is uh, kind of shocked for hearing that for hearing that he. He said, uh, "Oh my, my gosh, 65 million years! He, he's in shock. I, he didn't think he was all, all those years hibernating, which is fascinating. I wanted to know why, and, and I'm, we're probably going to see that in the future episodes. And after that, he, he talks to the ranger, the rangers. He reads their minds, so he already knows uh, how their personality are, and uh, stuff like that. Yeah." The Rangers ask about the little dinosaur, which says he he's solemn. That he's a long friend from uh, he's a long friend from from the from the ancient battle Zaito had a long time ago. He is half a dinosaur. She she I guess it's a she. She's a female dinosaur. She is half dinosaur and half cyborg because she's badly wooden on the battle millions of years ago and. Yeah, she's a Solonosaurus, and that's what is really there. I don't know what whatever is a Solonosaurus. Maybe it's a real type of dinosaur, or maybe it is a human uh, fictional dinosaur. I don't know. And then Zaito started explaining uh, his story, his backstory, which is, in my opinion, one of the most interesting backstories we have in Power Rangers so far. And he says that. He's from another planet, of course. Yeah. His planet was invaded by the Sporex, which destroyed uh, everybody on the whole planet. Very few people survived. Yeah. He's uh, he led the knights to to fight them, but of course they were beaten. Yeah. And the Sporex weren't satisfied on 
destroying his planet, he wanted to go to another planet to satisfy their hunger and their next target would be, guess what, planet Earth. Yeah. So yeah, the, the Sparks go to the planet Earth yeah. and the Knights, they go after the Sparks because they don't want this, uh, their destruction to spread to the universe again and they go to the planet Earth 65 million years ago and yeah, so the Earth is populated by dinosaurs and they fight along the dinosaurs which is very cool because there's this scene he the Red Ranger is riding a Tyrannosaur that, that there's very awesome <laughs> I like that scene it, it's very epic you're a knight riding a dinosaur and not any dinosaur a Tyrannosaur that, that, that's very epic that's very a heavy metal thing it, it is awesome I, I really enjoy that and he, they fight along the dinosaurs, yeah. but as, as the fight grew on, the the beast only got stronger and stronger, and they got gigantic. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, as things were kind of lost, they, they thought it would be destroyed. The morphing masters appear before them and transform them into Power Rangers. Yeah. They they shoot some powers on the on the dinosaurs and then the dinosaur transformed the, the knights into rangers this is very awesome but it's very cool they were chosen by the morphing masters then, themselves and that's really huge that's very epic because uh, you know the, the morphing masters are masters that, that control the morphing grid uh, I don't know exactly about uh, their detailed backstory because it's something from the comics and the Power Ranger comics are not published here in Brazil. I, I am Brazilian if you have noticed by my accent and stuff like that. I'm Brazilian. And uh, I kind of read some online reveals, watch videos about another Power Ranger channel make reveals on, on the comics and I kind of know about the Morphin Master but it's very nice to actually see them and making and, and see them making an appearance on the show which is very awesome huh? and they, they they were personally chosen by the morphing masters they were not chosen by some wise training i know they were chosen by the the guy the persons who actually guard the morphing grid and that is awesome it looks like no no you're chosen directly by the the morphing grid masters the, then that, that, is, that is awesome. They transform into Power Rangers but with the dinosaur spirits, stuff like that. The, and, but the Red Rangers say, oh, how, how can we fight them? Because the, the sparks are gigantic. And the Morphin Master so we're gonna make you mighty weapons, which are the, the Zords. After that, the, the, the Rangers ask, us, ask the Zaito, hey, so we, you guys had a happy ending because you're here to tell the story. But there comes the sad part. He, Zaito said that the victory wasn't a victory to celebrate because all his friend, his night friends are gone uh, which you, we might assume they died in battle who knows, uh, maybe not, maybe most of them do and even they didn't die in battle, it's been 65 million years they already died by age <laughs> at this point uh, and and as I just said, my mission was to protect the Sporex because we couldn't destroy them. Both Zaito and Solon say that we couldn't destroy them, so the ma the most logical thing was to keep it locked and hidden. And that was his mission until today that he failed. And he says that the Sporex uh, are hidden and uh, on the planet they're hidden and just waiting to hatch us. And because of that, they needed to fight each one of them one by one. Yeah? And of course, he's gonna train the, the new rangers to face this danger. Yeah? And it's very cool. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys like this review and plus commentary section. It's very cool. I really enjoy this season a lot. It, it, it is. I don't know. It, it is one of, one of the most epic Power Rangers first episodes, nah, in my opinion. I think almost as epic as the Power Rangers Time Force first episode, in my opinion. Nah. 
but hey uh, I really enjoyed it I, I really am enjoying this I want to know what you guys think uh, if you guys want to comment on anything tell me in the comments below I'll be reading them all of them and do as the pink ranger said like and subscribe <laughs> please <laughs> and I hope to see you guys next time and as always click like and subscribe